More proof today that Minnesota's fight against COVID-19 is far from over. The state's seven-day positivity rate is up to 8.3%. That is seventh worst in the entire country and the highest since vaccines first rolled out last year. COVID hospitalizations reached 960 yesterday and included more than 250 in intensive care. Most new infections continue to be among school-aged children. And it's not just COVID with kids back in school now. There are a lot of viruses going around. Experts say the only way to know whether or not your child's cold-like symptoms are COVID is to test for it. But when testing at the sign of every sniffle isn't an option, what should you look for? Kate Raddatz found out. At least weekly, he's got something, whether it's like a sniffle or like a, a runny nose or a cough. Katie's 21-month-old son, who's in daycare, has had his share of COVID-19 tests. This last time, I think his symptoms just seemed like a little bit different. Last month, Emmett came down with cold symptoms that also included a heavy, wet cough and fever. Katie found out he had a possible exposure. A PCR test confirmed it was COVID. We would drive ourselves crazy if we tested our kids for every sniffle. Dr. Frank uh, Rames says it's a good idea to call your child's school or child care center to see if there have been outbreaks of any virus. Also evaluate if your child is going to be around any unvaccinated, high-risk individuals. The best possible circumstance to not test would be runny nose alone, no outbreak of COVID in your school, no fever. As soon as you want it from that, particularly if you get bad cough or fever or shortness of breath, for sure, would be something I would, I would want to check into. Most kids will have mild symptoms from COVID. 500 children have died so far in the U.S. from the virus. If you suspect your child may have COVID-19, Dr. Rames says a call to the doctor and a test is always the best option. The website Minnesota Vaccine Hunters now has tips and resources on how to find over-the-counter rapid home tests. For example, the group says that CVS restocks overnight and most mornings, though experts say that a PCR test is typically more sensitive. Reporting in Eden Prairie, Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. Tests are available through many schools that opted into the state's free testing program for students. For a list of testing locations, head to WCCO.com links.